Would you believe me if I told you that two roommates who didn't even have the money to pay their rent sold fake cereal to create a multi-billion dollar company? I am talking about Brian Chesky and Joe Jebbia, the co-founders of Airbnb. These guys were struggling to even pay the rent for themselves, but now millions of people rent places that are listed on Airbnb every year. And what's even more shocking is that they don't own any real estate. Let's take a look at the inspiring story of how these two fought against all odds to build a huge business. Before diving into the video, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel so you can see more of our amazing content. Joe Jebbia and Brian Chesky met at the Rhodes School of Design and they knew nothing about business. Everything began in San Francisco in 2007, when these two roommates were on the verge of being kicked out and they were desperately trying to find a way to pay their rent. One thing they were aware of was that one of the largest design conferences in San Francisco was coming in just a few weeks. They knew that thousands of people would be coming from far away to attend the conference, but there were not enough hotels and rooms for so many people. They decided to take advantage of the situation by allowing the visitors to stay at their place. They had three air mattresses, and the next thing you know, Joe and Brian were on the floor blowing up the air mattresses. The duo decided to offer the guests an air bed and breakfast in the morning and also became tour guides for the visitors who had come to the conference in San Francisco. They quickly created a website called airbedandbreakfast.com. With the help of a free WordPress template and boom, they had thousands of bookings. Just kidding. If it was that easy, everybody would be doing it. Nobody even noticed their website. But they were confident because it was clear that the attendees of the conference would struggle to find rooms for the night. And that's exactly what happened. Brian and Joe managed to get a few guests to stay with them. A man from India, a woman from Boston, and a third man from Utah were their first visitors. Joe and Brian only planned to make some dollars to pay the rent, but after their first guests, they felt like they might be onto something and believed that this could be a game-changing idea for them. They teamed up with Nathan Blacharczyk, an old roommate, to turn their idea into a legitimate company. For a few months, they operated a service that matched people looking for roommates, but when they realized the website was already available on the concept, they went back to their initial plan for an air bed and breakfast. But once again, nobody recognized them when they turned to the market for a second time. They tried their luck once more at SXSW, but to their disappointment, they only had two customers, one of whom was Brian himself. The team members realized that they need to make some changes, so they redesigned the entire website in a way that allowed the users to book their rooms in just three clicks. Super easy. After giving their website a new look, they met with a total of 15 different angel investors. How many do you think gave them a thumbs up? None. Absolutely zero. Brian Chesky stated that Airbnb was rejected seven times before becoming successful. He also shared the five emails from various investors who completely rejected the Airbnb concept. Brian also mentioned that the two investors didn't even reply. These investors might be regretting their decision now. But can we really blame the investors for not trusting the concept of Airbnb? I mean, the whole idea of the business is exactly the opposite of what we have been taught since childhood. Don't let strangers inside the house. If you had listened to their pitch in 2007, you would not have invested in Airbnb either. The founders really believed that their idea could work, but they had no investors. So Brian and Joe decided to take on credit card debt just to keep the business alive. Now, not only is their business not working, but they are also in debt. Joe and Brian had experience with large conferences, and they knew that a large number of attendees required a large number of rooms for the night. So, they decided to capitalize on the 2008 Democratic National Convention in Denver. Because their website wasn't profitable, they created limited edition cereal brands, Obama O's, and Captain McCain's for the elections. They loaded up shopping carts with the cheapest cereal they could find and then filled the boxes by hand and used a hot glue gun to seal them. They offered these cereals at $40 per box, and each box included a limited edition number and information about their business. This strategy helped them reach a total of $30,000. Airbnb even got attention on national TV because of its unique cereal boxes. This helped Brian and Joe pay off their credit card debts, but now people were confused and they were starting asking questions if they were a cereal company. They were not making any money from their website and because the cereals were limited edition, they couldn't sell them again. So once again, they were back to zero and they had to live off dry cereal for the next few months. They really needed money and then finally, a venture capitalist named Paul Graham invented an invitation to the guys to join Y Combinator, a renowned startup accelerator that offered funding in exchange for equity or a partnership in the business. They tried to perfect their product over the course of three months. However, they were repeatedly turned down by well-known investors like Fred Wilson, who regrets it even now. The founders of the company made the decision to keep building its website and to go from house to house personally to stay with the hosts, post reviews on their website, and take expert photos of the rooms and houses. 
Then they changed the name of the company from Air Bed and Breakfast to Airbnb in March 2009, so they would no longer be associated with only air mattresses. They received a $600,000 seed investment from Sequoia Capital within a month. The main reason why they got investment was not because of the company, but because of the founders. The investor was impressed by how they sold cereal to make profits. This was the greatest moment of success for the three of them. After that, it was a time of exponential growth during which they improved their website repeatedly to make it more user-friendly and visually appealing. In 2011, four years after the original air mattress concept, Airbnb reached 89 countries and booked 1 million nights. The most ironic event occurred when Airbnb won an award for the best new mobile app at SXSW, where they had first attempted to launch three years earlier. In the same year, numerous venture capitalists invested $112 million in the startup, turning it into a Silicon Valley unicorn startup with a $1 billion valuation. Despite being on the success wave, they encountered numerous challenges. Many hosts lamented that their visitors were disruptive and left the home and rooms in a disgusting state. A coverage policy was quickly put in place by the business. Cities in the neighboring states began to experience issues because of Airbnb rentals. The problems getting worse, the business decided to redesign the company logo, which received harsh criticism from the general public. People in cities like New York and San Francisco started outlawing Airbnb rentals. The number of challenges Airbnb faced couldn't stop it from steadily growing. With over 34 offices worldwide, Airbnb generated $3.6 billion in revenue annually in 2018. According to a report from 2018, the top 10 nations where Airbnb had a direct economic impact were the US, France, Spain, Italy, the UK, Australia, Japan, Canada, Portugal, and Mexico. The report also showed that visitors who stayed in an Airbnb were more likely to spend significantly more in nearby cafes and restaurants. Due to the worldwide COVID-19 pandemic outbreak, Airbnb experienced a staggering loss of $637 million and a 67% decline in quarterly revenue. In addition, 1,900 of its 7,500 employees had to be let go as a result of the pandemic, but the company survived the pandemic, and at the time of making this video, Airbnb is worth nearly $75 billion. The story of Airbnb's success is truly inspiring. It teaches us to keep going even after facing rejection. If you have a concept that is worth pursuing and you have faith in it, don't ever give up on it even if there are many non-believers. Just like Brian said, never assume you can't do something. Push yourself to redefine the boundaries. Some people say that Airbnb is not safe. What do you think about that? Comment below. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any videos from us in the future.